Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Rebel, and Mr. Bones. And as always, we gotta give you my parental advisory. I tend to cuss like a sailor, and we both tend to talk like perverts. So if you ain't into that, you better exit stage left. Ain't gonna hurt our feelings none, because we know we're not everybody's cup of tea around here. Um, so yes, this is Alta Hall, and it is sponsored by a dear friend of mine. <laughs> so for my birthday slash Christmas, she sent me an Ulta gift card, and I want to thank you so much. Lisa, I love you, girl. <laughs> she, like I said, she's my sponsor. <laughs> she's always, you know, being so sweet to me. And so I have to give a lot of thanks to her. Um, like I said, she's gifted me makeup and, like I said, just keeps my habit going. <laughs> so thank you so much, girl. Um, so, yes, I... Um, I've had this stuff a few weeks. I've been using this stuff and I decided I actually like using it first and then telling you about the haul. So that way I can tell you about the stuff instead of me just getting the haul and just showing it to you. So I think from now on I might do it this way. I might be late to the game for some products. I usually always am anyway so it doesn't really matter right? But push it back there. Anyways I think I'm gonna do it that way from now on. I, I really like it that way better because like I said, I have a chance to try it out. That one section is driving me crazy. Anyways, I have a chance to try it out. I have a chance to tell you that way if I like it, if I don't like it, if it's working, not working. So so yeah, I've had, like I said, plenty of chances. I've also have an issue with Ulta and I'm gonna tell you all about it because I don't want you all to get into this problem I'm facing now, so. I might as well just start off with it, actually, what I'm thinking. Um, so, I, I ordered three, four, no, five eyeshadow palettes because the two Makeup Revolution palettes, the Christmas ones, were in that haul, um, or in the same haul. And I have three other palettes here. Two, actually, but I had three in total. That tells you anything. I had three. Um, Ulta being Ulta. They sent them in a bubble mailer. That was it. They were cram packed in there. Everything was cram packed. And um, two of the palettes came broken. I'm like, well, crap. First thing I did, I took photos. I, I emailed Ulta, told them I had broken palette. Okay. Anyways, they've changed their protocol now. Um, you have to send back the shit, basically. So I didn't have an issue with it. I'm like, okay, fine. Well, the problem is, you have to pay for the shipping if you send that shit back. I'm not liking that. So, I was reading more because they send you on the back of your invoice. It has the things down. It says, it gives, them the, it gives you the address and everything. You send it back to. And it says, you know, they're not responsible for shipping cost. Which really pisses me off. I'm like, if you wrap your shit up in the first place where it would get broke or damaged, you would have this issue. But I did look, you can return it. You have like a 30 days to return it to Ulta. So I'm going to be, even though Ulta is an hour away from me, well, actually it's more than an hour away from me. I'm just going to have to return it. And they sent me two pallets. They went ahead and sent two more pallets um, because both of those pallets came broken. They sent me two more. I'd be mean, gosh darn if another one was broken. They sent them the same way and another one was broken. So I don't have one of the pallets. Um, it's just, They're both just shattered. So I can't even show them to you. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be going to Ulta. So now I'm in a predicament. That I guess I can't order from Ulta anymore when it comes to eyeshadows or powdered products. Because I wanted to go through this shit every time because they always come broken. Never fails. So... But, what's so stupid? I got two hair products. Three, well, four, five, something like that. Hair products. They came in a box. They were bubble wrapped like hell. There was no... I'm like, why can't you do this with your makeup? If you could do it with hair tools and products and wrap it so tight that those things ain't budget. But yeah, when you do palettes, you just put them in a bag and call it good. It is so ass backwards, I swear. <laughs> These stupid ass people. Anyways, that's my complaint about Ulta. So, 
I just wanted to tell you all, watch out. I mean, unless you're shopping in the store, you don't like it, then you're Target if you got an Ulta close to you. But if you're like me, you're doing online stuff, the only way you could, you know, and they want the product back. It used to, they didn't even ask for the product back. You know, they just would send you two more or send you whatever, you know, was broken and call it good. Now they want the stuff back. So, anyways, I'm going to get into, um, I'm just going to get into the stuff first right here. Then I'll go into the hair products. Like I said, I waited, I had that gift card and I waited until, um, they started having really good sales and it was before Black Friday. They were starting to have really good sales of these brands. So that's why I went on ahead and used it. Because some of these were buy one get one free. Like the Essence stuff, which I have a couple of Essence pencils. Buy one get one free. So that's why I did it because these are super cheap to begin with. So these are the Essence Stay Put or, or Stay Lip Liner. There we go. Um, they're waterproof and they do stay really, really good. I have one in a burgundy color. I can't read the colors. So default and moody. Um, these are nudes. I don't have nude lip liners at all. I just, I have reds. Oh, by the way, they do have a sharpener. <laughs> I forgot about that when I pulled. So I don't have nude lip liners in my collection at all. So they're just retractable. I haven't even swatched the colors of these yet. I haven't used these, but I know that they're good. So yeah, I got those. Like I said, these were buy one get one free and I shop all, all the time I, I watch like every other day or so because you never know when they're going to do something on sale like the hair products I use I get from Ulta now because yes Walmart's cheaper but I could get points from Ulta and if they're having the sales then they're just about the same price as Walmart if not sometimes cheaper and I get points that way that I can use my points whatever the end of the year whatever I rack it up and up and I can get free stuff so that's why you know I like use it Ulta for that but I rub it and they're not coming off so those are really good lip liners I think they're about two dollars super good I got the Milani fresh fruit make it last or no sorry fruit fetish we all got fetishes, don't we? Anyways, um, now I'm stuck on fetishes. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> the fruit fetish, make it last. I used to like the make it last. I had the glowy one, or dewy, dewy one at one time. I liked the formula. I did like the way it made me look. It had like the glittery kind of, I did like that. It just looked like um, glittery jizz on my face. I didn't much care for that, but I liked how I made the makeup last. So I got this. This is in the Kiwi Watermelon scent and I like it. I've used it now, like I said, a couple weeks. It has a good mister on it. It doesn't have an overpowering smell of like watermelon or kiwi. I do smell a little bit of the fruit, but it's not bad. And it, it makes makeup last pretty good time. Um, I don't know if it's like all day. I don't think it helps me that much, but it does help. So I think that this was, it was on sale. I think originally these were like $10, $12 for these. Um, but I didn't get it for 10 or $12. Trust me, it did not happen. But that's why I went ahead and tried it because they had these, I think these were like 40% off, 50%, something like that. So that's why I jumped to the Milani stuff because I had it. Because I do have something else for Milani. But. So I got another Holica Holica. Um, I had a lips. I have I had have a lip stain from Holica Holica. And I, I like it quite a bit. So they had this. I don't know if it's Holly Pop or Holy Pop. <laughs> Anyways. It's a BB cream and a glow formula so basically it's a dewy formula um i can't tell you what's in it because this is all korean back here so but this is in english <laughs> the rest of it is korean because this is a k-beauty brand um i really really like this the problem is it's too light for me and that's saying something if it's too light for me 
but it's a really ah. good formula. It does have a dewy. I am wearing it today. I mixed a little bit of my, um, <laughs> what is it called? My tinted hydrator for wet wild just to get a little bit of color. So I wasn't so, but see how light it is? And you can see it on my hand. It's just a little too light, but I like the sheen that it gives to the skin. <laughs> Very sheeny. Um, but I like the sheen. I like the texture. It doesn't move. It doesn't yeah. crease. It's just really good. Um, and it's kind of sticky yeah. in a way. If you don't like the stickiness, because even on my face, it still feels not as sticky as this, but a little tacky-ish. This was like $5, $4. It was super cheap. Like I said, shade range, only three of them. <laughs> There's a light, medium, deep. That's it. That's all. But I don't know. This might be something you're meant to mix since it is so sheeny. Maybe it's a primer. But it says BB cream. So I don't know. Um, I don't know. So I've just been mixing it with the um, Wet Wild one. And it's been working great. I probably would buy this again, especially for the winter time. Like I said, it's going to give me a nice glow, even though my skin looks like a desert right now because <laughs> it's so dry. But, um, yeah, I really I do like it. Uh, it makes me want to try more from the Holica Holica brand, like I said, because I do like the little lip product, and I do like this one. I need to hurry my ass up, though, because we're... On a time crunch here. <laughs> Lip liners are just now starting to come off with this makeup wipe. So they're not permanently waterproof, but it works. Uh, okay, now we're going to get to... I just did a Milani look with this. Um, with the Christmas set I got. But I got the Milani, what is this called? A Gilded, the most loved mattes. Here's the inside of it. So basically, it's just a basic bitch palette that's just all mattes. Um, do I dare say I, I like it? <laughs> I know what the hell. We need to check, see if hell froze over, because I like this palette. And it's all basic bitch mattes. So, yes, I like it. I have been using it. I've used damn near every color. Um... I think a couple of videos back I was wearing this palette um so yeah if you want to see well here I'll give you a few swatches I don't want to swatch the whole thing out but I'm going to just get some of my light colors here of course it's the deeper ones it's a really good formula it blends out well um there's not much kick up there is some in certain colors but other than that, it's nothing I can't handle. There wasn't really no fallout. Um, mm -hmm. I used this palette, mm -hmm. actually, for my look mm -hmm. I did when I went out to see Billy's Band play. And like I said, it's a really good companion palette. Like if you got something colorful, you need some neutrals to tie in, whatever. It's a really good palette for that. They're 19 bucks or 20 bucks. Um, just wait till they go on sale. They'll eventually go on sale. Get one then. I got it for half off. So I got it for around nine bucks. Much better price than nine bucks. And like I said, I wouldn't pay, even though I really like it, I like the formula, I still would pay 20 damn dollars for this. So just wait. They'll go on sale. You get your one then. So these are one of the broke. No, 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 this one is not broken, thank God. But this is one of the ones that came broken. I don't know how this one did not come broken because it was the same packaging. But it, it was fine. And those two makeup rebel, I think those could go through Haiti and be okay. But anyways, they were fine. But I got, I've been wanting this for a while. The LA Girl, Hey Hey Vacay, Good Times, a tan line. There we go. This is a dupe palette, kind of, for, um, it was one of the high-end palettes that came out here a while back. I don't think it, was it Natasha Denona? Might have been one of her palettes, actually, but. Like I said, I've been wanting this one and the other one forever. Like I said, I can't show you the other one because it's just totally shattered, both of them. So, but I did get this one. This one, finally the second one. This one came okay. Um, 
But these LA Girls, they're so soft in formula. That's why they, they don't do very good shipping. So from now on, I know I'm not going to buy one of these unless I go maybe straight to the LA Girl website and maybe they package their shit better. But yeah, these are... Like I said, I don't know. This is a pretty neutral palette, too. It just kind of has some of these pops of that greenish, aqua bluish green. I don't know what color that is. I'm not good at describing colors at all. So I'm just going to pick up some just so you could see. Um, let's go for that green, actually. What the? Oh, there wasn't even nothing on that finger. It is chalky. I just swatched one of these MAC greens and it did have some kick up. But I went in heavy handed, so <laughs> that was my problem. They're very soft and buttery. They're really soft. That's what I said. These don't ship well because they are so soft. But there's a couple of the colors out of it. Like I said, super pretty. They do really good metallics in these palettes from LA Girl. Like I said, they was having a 40 or 50% off sale on LA Girl at the time. And that's why I got this one and tried to get the other one. So... I said, I would definitely check. I've got like now four of these. I think four of these. And I love them all. I like the formula. They are very pigmented. But yet they're still blendable. And all that fun jazz. So, if you haven't got one, get one. But get them on sale. Like I said, they're, they're about $16, $18 depending on where you get them from. Wait till Ulta puts them on sale. They get them from Ulta at that point. You can usually get them from like $9 to $10. Now I'm going to move on to the hair products I got. Like I said, I hit some good sales and I was able to get a lot of stuff for really hardly anything. Plus I used my some of my points. So I got a couple more hair products, but I forgot to bring them in here. So, But I just wanted to bring out some that I think that y'all would be interested in. So I got the Not Your Mother's. All Eyes on Me, the 10 in 1 Hair Perfector. They had these. Um, it was buy one, give one free. And they were discounted two on top of that. So this is basically kind of a, um, well, it's a heat protective for one. It's also a conditioner, kind of leave it conditioner spray. And it does add some shine to your hair as well, kind of a finishing. So it is kind of all in one. Um, I really like it. So far, I've used, not used a bottle, but I've been using my other bottle. I really like it. Um, I haven't really found a really good heat protector yet, but I think I might have found it in this, at least for like a drugstore. So, there is a no bad ingredients because I looked for the DMDM. We're good. It's not in there. Um, like I said, the other ingredients seem fine. I don't see no um, like sulfates or paraffins or nothing, but there are some oils. I don't know how to say that oil. There's macadamia oil, uh, grapeseed extract. So I mean, there's some good things in here, but there's not the bad things because I try to stay away from sulfates, paraffins, and the chemical DMDM. Um, I think that was one of the reasons why my hair was falling out at one point. If you want to hear about that story, let me know down below. So, now we're going to get to, I got some new heat styling tools. My hair is stupid. <laughs> my hair is, um, it's straight as a board. For it being so thin, you think it would hold curl. It does not take curl at all. So, I may use a Con Air that you get at Walmart. Um, I have a couple of different sizes curling irons. I may use those and it just, even if I try to set it, which basically that just means you curl your hair, you roll it back up, you put a pin in it, and just let it cool down while it's in that curl, it's still the way to work. So I'm like, I'm going to try to go up in class <laughs> and get a better heat tools. Um, so during that sale, everything from bedhead was on sale the heat tools so I decided to get give it a whirl um, and I got this weird thing 
I haven't had one of these before. These are the wave, the waivers. I thought that this might be good whenever I've tried to do like the uh, Betty Page mm -hmm. kind of frizzy wave. And that I did it in my hair tonight. Mm -hmm. And I'm, it's going to take me a while to learn how to use it correctly to really get a nice like 1940s kind of wave to it. Um, but that's why I got it was to try to cheat um, the waves from back then in my wow. retro wow. style. So anyways, it has a wow. heat so you can turn it down or up. I put it all, all the way high um, on it off. Wow. And then on top it has this locking wow. button so you can lock wow. Wow. where it doesn't open. Wow. This is this, like I said, this is the first time I used it tonight. It is very stiff. So after a while, your hand gets kind of sore of, you know, trying to hold that thing closed. That's my only complaint about it. I mean, other than that, it's held the curl. I don't have nothing in my hair other than the just this stuff. I didn't put no like, gel or sculpting gel or nothing to hold the curl. So far, it's held it, so it's definitely getting hot enough. I have to have tools that get hot enough <laughs> for my hair without burning it off. So I think I finally found some products now that's going to hold the curl. And that's what I needed. I just needed something that would get enough heat. The con airs just don't get enough heat for my hair. So the next thing I got was this guy here. <laughs> This is just the iron, or this, a wad, curling wad, is that what they call these? Anyways, it doesn't have the, the clip, the barrel kind of clip holder. I didn't want that. I actually wanted this. Um, so it does taper. Um, this one does not have a heat setting. It just has on and off. So you can't adjust the temperature, unfortunately. But this thing works. This thing is good. I don't even have to try to set my curls. I just let them fall. They're a last. Um, and I am, look like I'm about to knock the crap out of him. <laughs> I might, actually, if he keeps on mouthing off, I'll keep this around just so I can whack him. But, yeah, this does really, really good. It holds my curl well. And I don't even, ha did I put any setting mousse or anything in my hair? No. I don't think I did Saturday whenever wow. I went out. Wow. Um, I think I just used this as a heat protective. It held all night. Wow. I still had it curled the next day. Wow. Um, yeah, this is good. It's just to try to learn how to hold it has been a, a pain wow. in the butt. Because um, I'm so used to having the curl, the clamper to hold it, do all that. And I don't have it now. It does come with the glove. So that way you're not burning yourself. Now you can't sit there and hold it with the glove because eventually you're going to get hot. But, I mean, it protects your hands from... Because I could do this if it was... Um, if I had my hands, <laughs> I would be burning my hands all the time. But, yeah, I like how it's tapered. And I'm glad I got the tapered. As I said, it just gives me a really good curl. I really like this. So I say if you want some good... If you want some good, affordable styling tools, I would check out Bedhead stuff. Um, this, this one had really good reviews. That one didn't have too, it wasn't too bad, but was the greatest. I think a lot of people were like me, complaining about how hard do you have to try to grip it down to get it to clamp kind of thing. But I'll still use it, like I said. It really, with that thing, it didn't take me no time because I was able to take larger sections and just clamp all down. And my hair is not as long, so it didn't take me as long to, I don't know. Um, I may have been taking too big of sections, so later on I might have to do smaller. But just for a quick, I was just able to do it with less than five minutes, where this one takes me about 20 to do my complete head. So, But I think that was everything I got for my gift, gift card, my gifts. So like I said, thank you so much, Lisa. Um, I truly love you from the bottom of my heart. I thank you so much for you being such a dear friend and being so sweet and basically sponsoring this shit show here. <laughs> but um, hopefully, she, like I said, she watches this. Um, but yeah, this is the haul. 
And if you want to see anything, like complete swatches of these palettes or looks, whatever, you know what to do. Leave it down below. If you need links to any of this stuff, uh, tell me down below. Hey, give me a link to da 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 da. So, I will be more than happy to share a link if I can find it. Um, is that it? That's it. I think that we are completely done. So, Mr. Bones, are you ready for Christmas? Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> Brayden's ready for Christmas. He is definitely ready for Christmas. So, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching and thank you for subscribing. And as always, we will see you later. Love you all. Bye.